let's start with the most used like most commonly used uh, operator which is add and subtract so like add and subtract basically works uh, like so okay let me explain it to you with the help of a sim uh, simple expression so the expression is x plus y or x minus y that's it right over here so what happens when we write down x plus y value of y is added to the value of x and if uh, like it is x minus y then in that case value of y is subtracted from the value of x this is what happens but this is what happens in the case of integers but what about uh, when we have different types of oh uh, yeah when we use this operator with different types of data types what will happen in that situation if x or y is a string or if x or y is a double uh, like variable or double data type so in, like for that we have certain rules for add and subtract operator let's have a look at all of those rules one by one so the number one rule that we have got is if x and y are integers or doubles then adds or subtracts the value of y from x and if any of x x or y is double then the result is double so what that means is that amongst like if over here if you're using x plus y or, or like or x minus y if any one amongst x and y is double then the final output will be double that's it you like uh, i mean so one value is integer and another one is double the output will be double and if both the values are double the output will be double and if both the values are, are integer then obviously the output will be in integer so this is exactly what this rule one is saying and over here i have a simple program uh, which explains uh, or which uh, justifies this uh, first rule so i have integer i1 which is equals to 5 and then double d1 which is equals to 7.8 so when i'm going to like add uh, subtract uh, this i1 from d1 then in that case it will return 2.8 and 2.8 is basically what like what it's a double value right if it would have uh, like if if it would have been returning integer then in that case it would have returned 2 but over here it will return 2.8 so that means it uh, like it is returning a double value so whenever uh, um, like with uh, like add and subtract operator um any uh, like if any of the operand x or y is a double then the output will be double that's it let's begin with rule 2 so rule 2 is if x is a date and y is an integer then it returns a new date that is incremented or decremented by the specified number of days we have discussed this earlier as well when when i was explaining date data type uh, but let's discuss this discuss this once again date okay so i have created a date variable uh, like in which i have like uh, set the year as 2019 the month as january and the date as first so first january 2019 is the date that we have in da one and in i1 uh, we have got 5 we can see it over here 5 so if i am going to add uh, like if i am going to add i1 in da1 it will return a date that is incremented by 5 and what that means is it will return the date which will uh, the date which will be 5 uh, days ahead from the date that is stored in da1 so in da1 we have got 1st january 2019 if i'll add 5 into it it will return 6th january 2019 and that's exactly what it is doing over here as you can see so and if we'll if we'll subtract uh, i1 from it then obviously it will decrease the like yeah days from that particular date so if we have 1st january 2019 and if we're going to minus 5 from it then in that case it will return what 27 december 2018 that's it now let's talk about the rule 3 so rule 3 says if x is a date time and y is an integer or double then it returns a new date time which is incremented or decremented by the specified number of days with a fractional portion corresponding to the portion of the day let me explain it to you what uh, like what is happening over here so uh, imagine like i've got double d uh, set as 5.2 and i've got date time uh, variable which is set to 2018 uh, may and 15 so 15th of 2000 uh, 15th of may 2018 it is and the time is 9 hours 20 minutes and 30 seconds so if i'm going to reduce 5.2 from it so in that case it will reduce the like non fractional part which is 5 over here uh, from the date which is 5 5th may 2018 so that's the reason it will show 10th of 
May 2018 because if will like decrease five days from it, it'll show it like that. And the fractional portion will be decremented from the time that it has the portion of the day that needs to be reduced. So if we'll reduce the time from uh, here, this is the time that we'll get get 11 32 uh, 11 hours 32 minutes and 30 seconds. The next and a very important rule about plus operator, not for the subtract operator, only for the add operator, uh, is that if x or y any one of them is string then the plus operator will work as a concatenation operator instead of as an addition operator and here's an example to see that so s1 is equals to hello and s2 is equals to people so if i like write down s1 plus s2 then in that case it will concatenate both of the strings right hello people that's it this is the final string that we'll get as an output when we'll use plus operator with uh, strings and even if like we have got i so uh, integer i i've got 2019 and uh, in like uh, in this system dot debug i'm writing down s1 plus i so it it will concatenate hello which is stored in s1 as a string and uh, like the integer value that we have got and it will return a string because as i said if anyone amongst the two operands are string or is a string then in that case the output will be a string and the plus operator will act as a concatenation operator.